Yo, Tripolar Bear. Everybody knows the most powerful builds for 3.18, but for those who've already played them and want something new, I have five actually good builds that you can play from League Start all the way through the new Uber content that aren't Seismic, DD, Skelly Mages, Lightning Strike, or Helix. So, the first build we'll talk about is going to be Garatha's Spark Inquisitor, which has been getting a lot of attention recently and for good reasons. Spark fills the arena with projectiles and has huge regen through Inquisitor, which lets you have this comfy playstyle with Herald of Ice kind of pops for clearing. This guide has a leveling skill and a tree section, but the one downside is there isn't much guiding when it comes down to gearing with only one gear set and no crafting instructions. Garatha did mention if people want a crafting guide that he'd be down to make one so make sure you go spam his youtube comments if that's something you're interested in the next build number two on our list is gucci prada's bfbb which turned out to be a great league starter for him in 3.17 and since nothing has changed since then will be a great league starter here as well this build boasts great damage against bosses and clears extremely well because of the plague bear and occultist explosion interactions now, this isn't the tankiest build, but it was tanky enough for Gucci to play through hardcore trade and defeat all the pinnacle bosses in 3.17. And this even comes with a damage variant for softcore trade, which gives up a little bit of that defense for a lot more damage. There are two main downsides to this build though, and the first is that you're playing BFBB which means you need to press two buttons constantly. And this is a very bad build if you've already developed wrist or finger pain and are prone to it. The second main downside is that there is no leveling guide or crafting guide. So you need to know how to craft each piece or buy them for a higher price from players who've crafted them for you in trade. And for leveling, you need to level as poison concoction occultist, finding a different build guide or a leveling guide to do that one very good and very easy one would be i'm exile or tai tai killer if they have a poison concoction occultist run you can very easily just yoink that and once you get the maps you'll respec into this build the third build on this list of course is going to be a build i did a video about Rutu's Fire Trap Saboteur. This build has an extremely simple playstyle, with you simply chucking a trap onto the ground, which causes a huge burning ground to inflict dot damage to anything standing on it. This build is endgame viable on a shoestring budget, since we don't even need to buy suppression gear and instead use Kong Ming's shield and Saboteur's blind for a suppression like effect on bosses. Ru's Fire Trap has a full leveling tree, gear progression, and a skill section to hold your hand at every stage of the build. And I've tacked onto this guide a crafting guide for all the different gear sets. One button play style, super cheap to start, and a full hand holding progression are all the upsides of this build. But the main issue you'll encounter is Jung Ron viewers asking you dumbass questions like, why not Elementalist? What do you even get as Sab compared to Chieftain? And have you seen Explosive Trap? Pox is one of the two people to go to for Righteous Fire builds in this community. The second being Captain Lance. But for now, I'm waiting to see if Captain Lance's Righteous Fire Trickster is Copium, Hopium, or if it'll become the infamous Righteous Fire Trickster Incident. Pox's Righteous Fire Inquisitor. Righteous Fire is a solid build if you're looking for very easy clear and something that can take a few hits and recover it back with no issues at all. Pox's build guide comes with an insane FAQ where goddamn near every single question you could ever ask about the build is answered with a simple control F and a type into it like a Google search engine. It also comes with full gear, skill, and leveling tree progressions, and even has crafting notes on the end game gear. This is super handholdy, and if you're newer to the game, can help you out immensely. If you're looking for a single target pumper, then this build won't be for you, but that's not to say it's ZTPS, but that rather it goes up to about 3 million at the 10 to 15 exalt mark, needing more and more to pump it up. The last non-meta build on my list might get a little bit of an eye roll, but in my eyes, it's flying just under the other super meta builds. If you disagree, then let me know down below, because this last build on our non-meta build list is going to be Rutu's Corrupting Fever Champion. Now, this build is an absolute monster when it comes to map clearing 
and boasts fairly good defense. This is the go-to build if you just want to blast elk and go maps since this is a kinetic blast build with explosions, speed, and beef built in as soon as you get to maps. That's not where this build stops though. With full leveling gear and tree progression throughout, you'll be set to take on even the new uber content with his new uber gear set. The one weakness of this build though is going to be its single target. So long as you're following the build correctly, you'll have about 2 million dot DPS, which is good enough to start clearing your T16 maps with not much gear at all. And you'll be able to farm upgrades very easily because you're going to be farming your maps so fast. So you clear the whole map a lot quicker and your bosses take maybe an extra 5, 10, 15 seconds. It's a give and take and the give is about 5, 10, 15 seconds of your time and the take is kinetic blast clearing with fizz dot explosions. And if you have any questions at all, Rue can help you with his build on his stream. But if he doesn't see your message, you can always post it on the Path of Exile builds Reddit about how low the damage is with your paceman, and he's sure to arrive to flame your setup. Anyways, thanks for watching, and let me know if you guys like this video, where we go over different non-meta build options, and if you agree with my choices for non-meta builds or if you have any non-meta builds that you think are very good or flying under the radar, please let me know. Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the live stream. See you there for League Start. Bye.